when I came to Canada to study, I came on full scholarship. When I say full scholarship, I mean that my school covered the whole of my school fees, 100%. Plus, my school was paying me my living expenses monthly. That's what I mean by full scholarship. <laughs> How are you doing today? Okay, thank you so much for coming to this session. Today, we are going to be discussing the top three reasons people like you choose to study in Canada. I hope you are ready because we are going to talk about why everyone has been shouting Canada, 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 Canada. <laughs> Alright? And um, let me introduce myself in a special way. My name is Dr. Linda Iheme and I'm a Canadian citizen. Yay! <laughs> So, it's right for me to say that we are talking about my country here. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the serious stuff, okay? Um, the top three reasons why people choose to study in Canada. We're going to start with the obvious one. The first one is that Canada has comparable education system. When you compare them, say, to the United Kingdom, to United States, to um, Australia right and all the, every other uh, high income country canada education system is mm, <laughs> like in terms of the facilities like uh, uh, educational facilities um in terms of the educational curriculum uh it being up to date at least compared to so many other countries the uh, the, the work there is comparable educational system so like you won't somebody will say um somebody will say uh uh, I went to Canada to study, but those that studied in the U.S. no more than me. Like, that won't be a thing. That will never be your worry. For example, the way you, the way you could feel that if you studied in a developing country or a low-income country, that people who studied in places like U.K., U.S. may have uh, more updated facilities, even in their lab, even in terms of the research question and, and stuff like that, right? So, Canada has comparable education system. Number two, before I go into that, I mean, it, it, it makes sense to say that if Canada has comparable educational system like the UK, US, Australia, and the rest of the high-income countries, how come people are selecting Canada, right? So here we begin to talk about what makes Canada special. And this is from what I've noticed from people, all right? So we are, I'm not saying what made me choose Canada, which is a different question. Uh, or, 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 I'm talking about why most people choose Canada. All right. The second, uh, the second reason is the post graduation work permit, favorable post graduation work permits. Okay. For example, in Canada, uh, Canada give post graduation work permit that allows you to work with any employer, meaning that an employer can hire you. The same way they can hire a citizen, the same way they can hire a permanent residence holder, and all the rest. An employer can hire you. Right. If you compare this to the UK, yes, an employer can hire you, but employers are not really expected to hire you for the very high-paying jobs. This means that most times after school, you end up you end up doing very mean like you end up doing jobs that are not really the best kind of jobs, right? And the serious jobs, which they call the sponsored jobs, it is only a few non-citizens that will get it. Do you get? But in Canada, it's not like that. Canada does not reserve some jobs, like the high-paying jobs for their citizens, and not give it to others. Canada does not do that. So that is why what I call favorable post-graduation work permit. Still compared to the U.S., in U.S., to get a, you have to get a company that will sponsor you. In Canada, you get, you get jobs, and they're not, nobody's talking about sponsorship in terms of the post-graduation work permit. Like, the high-paying jobs are not reserved for citizens only at least officially right because something can happen quite all right but if it is official then it means it's going to happen way way more so in places like uk is official that the high paying jobs are left for citizens okay a, a, an employer have to prove that there was no citizen to take the job before they can give it to you right but in canada it's not like that an employer is not really required to prove 
that they couldn't give the job to any citizen before they gave uh, they, they ended up giving it to you so that's a huge advantage which means that if you're an immigrant in the country you don't get penalized provided you've studied here you don't get penalized just because you're not a citizen yet okay now let's go to the number uh the third reason all right the third reason why a lot of people choose canada <laughs> uh one moment I think there was something else that, uh, okay, the third reason is that Canada has direct, how do I put it? Canada has a, a, a route that is set out and specifically designed for international students that have finished their study. They call it the Canadian Experience, um, the Canadian Experience Route. The Canadian Express, the name, the, I, I, I feel that there's something missing in that name. <laughs> anyway, but let me tell you the whole picture. The whole picture is that if you, are, if, you are, if you are a student, if you come to Canada as an international student and you study and you decide to stay back permanently, Canada does not have a problem with that. Like, they have a direct route through which you can come uh, from your study visa, you get um, post-graduation work permit. From post-graduation work permit, you apply for permanent residency and you get your permanent residency except you're like an arm robber or a drug dealer which me and you we are not right abby uh, I'm, I'm speaking on your favor abby hey <laughs> well so the people who don't get it are people who have like some serious crime and stuff like that so you get it if you're like if you're a normal person like me and you you get it okay so and then from the permanent residency you get your citizenship the point is this that there is a direct route designed by the government it seems like the government is saying stay back they are using one eye they are cutting eye for you stay back stay back that's what the government is doing do you get unlike many other countries where it's as if the government know they don't want you to stay back they just want you to come and study and go back do, do, do you see the difference? So, this is why, pe even though somebody may not want to stay back as of the time they are coming to study, that, that's not necessarily the reason why they are going to stay back, right? That's, uh, sorry, that's not the reason why they will decide that they want to study. But sometimes people change their mind along the way. So, for a lot of people, it is more about keeping that option open. Like, it's more like if somebody say you can come and study and you can stay back even if you don't want to stay back you just want that option open in case you ever decide to use it a lot of people also study and they go back to their country because maybe they have a job there uh, it was even their company who sent them to come and study and so many other things right but i've told you the top three reasons why people choose canada it has comparable educational system compared to other high income countries the post graduation work permit is favorable to you it doesn't limit you to only do many jobs. Employers can hire you for high paying jobs. The third one is that the government themselves have mapped out a direct pathway. The Canadian Experience Class, ECE, I remember it now. I, I say one word was missing from that name. The Canadian Experience Class, you can Google it, okay? It's online, it's on the Canadian government website as well. So, I'm not telling, this thing I'm telling you is like a secret, but it's not a secret. Is, is in the open is in the open right so you can google it canadian experience class cec canadian experience class cec canadian experience class so the government themselves designed that you can stay back with these three reasons people are seeing that when they are willing to spend thousands of dollars that why spend it in a country that just want your money and throw you back and even if you don't want to stay back you want to spend it in the country that will be like we love you if you want to stay it's fine right it just makes sense so canada is just like that beautiful bride that is not rude is nice cool and calm ready to welcome you if you so wish and if you try to go back to your country the government does not go out of their way to prevent you from going back to your country so it's not as if they force you to stay back somebody says she in canada <laughs> okay uh, uh, please can we can you help me answer the person that asked that question please can you help me answer the person that asked that question okay so these are all the reasons that 
people choose to study in Canada. As I told you before at the beginning of this video, my name is Dr. Linda Iheme. I'm a Canadian citizen. So I'm telling you about my country, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you about my country. Uh, let's keep that in mind. And I, I, I would tell you that, I would tell you that, um, like for me, when I came to Canada, I came on full scholarship. If you are here, you want to study in Canada, and you want to study on full scholarship, you're looking for how to get scholarship or study loan or grant, you know, how to get funding to fund your school fees, please go to www.vantagemigration.ca to, to attend our free webinar. All right, where we will explain everything, we'll tear everything apart for you. So that is for people who are looking for funding. Make sure you stay to the end of the webinar. Make sure you get the eligibility link and check your eligibility. Then you can email us with the email address we'll show to you if you have any more questions. Right? Uh, we, uh, we do all of, all of these things I've talked about now. They are for free. So, if you, whether you decide to ever register for our training, our scholarship masterclass or not, does not matter. Go and attend the free webinar. You will learn a lot. Make sure you are going with your pen and uh, 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 book and pen when you are going there. Alright? Somebody say, can you say it again? I'll show you. www.vantagemigration.ca I'll show you. Go to www.vantagemigration.ca. Please, can you take a screenshot and comment done? That way, I know that you have taken the screenshot. Because, so that way, you are not also going to make mistake when you are typing the email address. Specifically, these are for people who are looking for scholarship, grant, study loan. You know, you are looking for a way to fund your education. Cheap tuition. You know, because some people, they already have money, but they're just looking for something that will be, you know, they're just looking for something that will be easier for them to pay. We do that. We show you how to get very cheap tuition. So for every course that you are doing, we show you how to get the cheapest tuition in that course, if you have the money to pay. So we show you how to get cheap tuition or we call, uh, we call it the invisible scholarship. You, your school fees will be like you have, you have scholarship, even though they may not have officially said that you got scholarship. All right. That's number one. We show you how to get full scholarship. We show you how to get partial scholarship. We show you how to get grants. We show you how to get study loan. All right. So myself, I, 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 when I came to Canada to study, I came on full scholarship. Hey, hey, hey. When I say full scholarship, I mean... That my school covered the whole of my school fees, 100%, plus my school was paying me my living expenses monthly. That's what I mean by full scholarship. What we even call full scholarship, we don't, when they cover the whole of your school fees only, we, we, we sort of call that partial scholarship still. Even though the school may tag it full scholarship, we call it partial scholarship. So the full scholarship I'm talking about is that you, your school fees will be covered in full, and the school will be paying you monthly or sometimes once in two weeks. Mm, before God and man, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not joking. Did you take the did you take the screenshots? Did you take the screenshot? Go to www.vantagemigration.ca. Take screenshots and comment done. That, that's the only way I know that you have already done it. Take screenshots and comment done. All right, who has done that? Let's see. Now let's go to let's go to question and answers. Okay, let's look at the questions. The first question I had I have here is I heard even if we get scholarship, we we'll still need to pay acceptance fee, and it's quite a lot. What you heard is incorrect. What you heard is incorrect. As I mentioned earlier, before this question came up, right? As I mentioned earlier, before this question came up. Most people can shout scholarship here and there, but most times they did not get scholarship. So if you are if you are talking from them say them say, if you are talking from them say them say, that is your business. Here I am telling you what really happened, right? So there are different forms of scholarship. Somebody can give you even tuition discount. Somebody can give you one thousand dollars scholarship and ask you to pay nineteen thousand dollars, right? So there are different type of scholarship. That's why I said that if you want to get full scholarship, go to www.vantagemigration.ca. That's what I said to you. You can continue with them, say, them, say, them, say, if that is the best way you decide to live your life, right? And those people, they never move forward because 
Info, they will give you wrong information. You will not take action. Because you do not take action, your, your life will not change. You don't know that. Uh, you don't know that. It's because you are listening to them say, them say, them say. I am talking to you. I am in Canada today. I am a Canadian citizen. I came here. I, I came here through study abroad. I came on full scholarship. My school paid my school fees 100% and was paying me every month for my living expenses. They were paying me enough money for me to pay my, uh, feed myself, pay my house rent and everything. That is what happened to me. I'm a living witness. So I'm not telling you what people are saying. They are saying, they are saying. I, I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm not into that, my dear. Let's look for serious questions. Someone said... Can I migrate to Canada from South Korea through dependent marriage? I don't know what dependent marriage means. So rephrase your question so that I can answer. Can I migrate to Canada from South Korea? I'm currently in Nigeria. I'm still very confused. Can you migrate to Canada from South Korea? You are currently in Nigeria. I know you, are, you want me to give you a simple answer, but the question you're asking me is very confusing. I don't know what to answer you. Can you migrate from South Korea to Canada? And you are currently in Nigeria. So, at what point are you going to South Korea? And at what point are you going to Canada? I'm very confused about your question. Sorry, my dear. Let's look for other people. This person said, what is the cheapest school I can get for a postgraduate program? There are different schools charge different school fees. I'll tell you where some of these challenges come from. There are, when I went to school in Nigeria, all right, when I went to to school in Nigeria, it was often the case that 90% of the school, of the students in the school, from different different departments, paid the same school fees. Did that happen to you too? Whether you are from Liberia, you know, South Korea, Jamaica, Ghana, Cameroon, can you tell me more about what happened in your own country? Alright? So, because of this, many people believe that a school in Canada is also likely to do the same. You see what is happening that they are transporting their experience, which is very normal. They are transporting their experience into the Canadian system, from, from their country to the Canadian system. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. The way it works is that a school, say my school, my alma mater, a school like University of Waterloo, for example, different programs in the same department have different school fees. Wait, I did not say the same faculty. The same departments different programs have different school fees one two different uh, departments and different programs in different departments have different school fees all the programs in the school are not the same school fees in fact on top of that somebody in the same class with you we pay zero another person is going to pay thirty thousand dollars maybe you got full scholarship they did not get do you understand that even inside the same classroom, your school fees will differ? It's very surprising when I tell people. And I understand because I also initially studied in Nigeria, right? So I know that in my school there, I know that um, the, the medical student, I'm a dentist, all right? That's where my doctor came from. So the medical students, medical and dental students, we had a different school fees from the normal students. But even at that, all our school fees, whether you were in 100 level, 200 level, 300 level, 400, 500, 600, the school fees was the same, right? So it's not, it's, this is not how it happens. So people often tell me, how, uh, which school is the cheapest? How the school that will be the cheapest will be dependent on your program that you're going to go and study. The program you're going to go and study, even though you tell me I want to go and study this, I want to go and study that, the program you're going to go and study will be dependent on so many things. You know, what you studied before, what, what your work is now, what you like in life, what we match, uh, what are the high-paying jobs in that country that you're going to. So, you see that the, the different variables and they keep shaking. So, what we do is that for students who join Vantage Migration, I already told you to start with our free study abroad webinar, right? For students who join Vantage Migration, we will walk you through the steps, step by step. Number one, you are in, you'll be able to find the program you're going to study. Now, you will not be able, after you have decided on the program, you, that's when you will not start seeing, okay, what's the school that will offer this program? What's the cheapest school? And cheapest school means you're paying from pocket, Abby. Because if you're paying, 
If you are going to go on full scholarship and the school is the one paying your school fees, does it worry you if they check $2 million and pay for it? It doesn't worry me. So, cheaper school only happens if you are paying from pockets. Can't you see it? <laughs> so, there are lots of variable. People always prefer that you say, uh, this school, this school, this school. But the people that will give you that kind of answer are the people who don't know how it works. Unfortunately, I can't make that mistake because I know how it works. Alright? I know how it works. So, it's like, if a quack by the roadside give you medical advice and you go and meet a doctor, don't expect them to tell you the same thing that the quack said. Or you've been judging them according to their answer versus that of the quack. Right? That would be a wrong measurement. Whatever a quack has I've told you, if you go to your doctor and your doctor say, hey, you will not even open your mouth. You just say, yes, ma. Yes, sir. You go and do it. Because you know that they have the credibility to tell you what to do. Right? <laughs> Let's look at more questions. Please, drop your questions. Look for the question mark. I want to answer all your questions today. Is, is one program enough for someone to get PR in Ontario province? Is one program enough? One program is enough. One program is enough some people tell you you have to do two programs it's not always correct because they, they always try to they always try to mm, if you do this do this, do this. They, they don't know the rules if you understand the rules you will decide whether the one program is going to work for you or you need more program but to generally say that everybody needs to over two program you don't know the rules that's what is um costing it so to answer your question one program is enough How can I get Canada? Get to Canada from UK. I'm currently rounding off my MSc. Okay, awesome. You are going to go through the same process that somebody in Nigeria, somebody in Ghana, somebody in Rwanda, somebody in Liberia, somebody in Zimbabwe, somebody in Zambia, somebody in Egypt, somebody in Sierra Leone is going to go through to come to Canada. If you're coming through the study abroad route, what you have to do is start with our free webinar. We will break it down for you. One after that, you join our program, we'll teach you step by step how to go about it. That's what you can, that's the best advice I can give to you. Anything I give to you is going to be less than this best advice. And people who follow the advice, they end up in Canada within eight to 12 months, not negotiable. You're already in UK. That also means that if you're in UK, I believe you are working, you are getting pounds. That also means that. Even to pay for any program here and there to give you what you need is not going to be a problem for you. If you decide not to listen to this advice, let me tell you what will happen to you. If you decide not to listen to this advice, what will happen to you is that you are going to finish in UK, you are going to get your post-graduation work permit for two years, and you are going to try to get a sponsored job or sponsorship visa, and it's going to be as hard as passing through the eye of a needle. One year or one year and a half from now, you are going to come back to Dr. Linda begging on your knees Seriously. Okay, now I'm, I'm trying to pad my shoulders. Okay, okay. Uh, withdraw, withdraw. Okay, come back. One year and one year, six months from now, you're going to reach out to us and we're going to tell you it's too late. You will, UK is going to force you to return to your home country and while you are there, then you're going to start the process again. So, consider this a courtesy. How are you? Attend this webinar. You know, register for our program and start. You are in UK. <laughs> ask others that came before you. Ask them. I will not say anything. Ask them. Can you be see people that came before you? Ask them. Start now. God has already blessed you that you, you, you found yourself here today. Okay? Start now. I beg you. And for any other person in UK who is listening to me right now, <laughs> start now before what happened to others in 19 Kredi will happen to you. Start now. So people... Is when it's three months for them to go, they'll start crying. Dr. Linda, please. Dr. Linda, there's no emergency routes for Canada. There's no there's emergency route, but there's no emergency route. If you know, you know. Even when you want to go and do Canada two, two weeks visa, you go hook you for neck. So even when you think you're going to do emergency, it won't work. Let me, let, <laughs> how many people have watched Jangu Jangu here? Yeah. That movie that just came out is I watched it on uh, Amazon Prime. I don't even have watched it, so let me do my head like that. When you, when you are saying something, somebody is not listening, you do like this. 
Yeah, one jagu jagu. Give me one. Uh, give me. <laughs> Find something. Let me hear from you. Okay, let's continue with the questions. This person is asking, can undergraduate apply for scholarship? Our program, our scholarship program is for graduates. Our scholarship program is for graduates. It's not for undergraduates. However, if you are an undergraduate and you have enough money to pay your fees, all right, to pay your fees abroad, and you're not looking for somebody that will help you, you can go to our agency. Go to www.vantageagency.ca. www.vantageagency.ca. All undergraduates go there. Please, it is for people who have money to pay their fees. Take notes. All right? So let's look for more questions to answer. Uh, okay, what are the questions? I am a Jamaican currently living in China. I want to do a, a doctor of education degree in Canada. Are there full scholarships available? Yes, there are full scholarships available. What I would advise you to do is to start with our free study abroad webinar. That way you understand exactly how it works. Okay? So, yes, if you are going for PhD, take, take a screenshot of this link and use it to go there. If you are going for PhD, we work with you. All the things that you require for your PhD program, we will guide you through it step by step. Step by step. All right? Step by step. Okay. <laughs> Let's look up for more questions. More questions. moments um this person is asking how can i use my dental technician certificate to get work in canada or get job in canada i don't know but if you are a graduate say you have a um a hnd right you can apply for a postgraduate diploma or a master's depending on you know your grade and so many and what what program you are going for can apply for PGD, can apply for masters, you can get the admission and the study visa comes with work visa or work authorization or work permits, whatever you call it. The cocoa is that with the study visa, you can work as a student. In fact, uh, please note that this is temporary, but Canada even made it now that students can work full time. Unlike the, the 20 hours, but it was is done for a short time. So based on when you're watching this video, confirm if it has been reverted. Especially for those that will be watching it as a replay. Okay, let's look at oh this same question is from a, a dental technician. Let's see. Somebody said after being denied the US at US Embassy, hope it won't be an issue to get Canada visa. It will be an issue, but there are ways around it. <laughs> there are ways around it. It depends what you the way you handle it or what you do next is what is going to determine whether it will destroy you or whether you'll be able to work free. So if, what I'll advise you is that trade carefully. Ensure that before you put your visa again, that you go through visa training. Go through training. People will not hear. When their visa is denied, they'll start running shakata, shakata, shakata. And at that point, you, you, you don't even know you're destroying your future. Before you know it, Canada will deny you. This one will deny you. This one, before you know, you lose hope. You lose your dream. What for? What does it profit you? What does it profit you to stay and lose your dream? Instead of, you even know somebody that will show you what to do. Is it not a shame? It's a shame now. It's a shame. Every time. Like, I don't even know if I should tell you this story. Some people's story, yeah, you will cry for them. You will, you will cry for them. You will cry for them. Let me leave this story so that I don't break the privacy of the person. Even though I was not going to mention the person's name. But let me still leave it. Somebody say, how much do you charge for your consultation program? The only thing I've told you on this video is to go and attend, complete our free webinar. If you do that, you're going to see other things and you have the opportunity to ask other questions and contact us. And I gave you the webinar link, which is www.vantagemigration.ca. Please, let me, let 
people call it speed, they speed on your behalf. If you are not ready to complete the free webinar, don't bother asking me how much is my consultation program. The free one, you know, greed do. Is it paid one you will do? Free one, you know, do. Is it paid one you will do? Shift. Shift. Let's continue talking to normal people. <laughs> okay. Let's look at more questions from people. Let's see. Can I study in Canada with my national diploma in accounting from Nigeria? Yes, you can. You can apply for advanced diploma. You can also apply for bachelor's degree. Those are the two programs you can apply for. Remember, we handle university graduates only or university level graduates, meaning people that have HND, people that have bachelor's, people that have master's, people that have PhD and want to do another program. If you have OND, you are below our cadre. If you, are, if you have the money to pay your fees and you're looking for somebody that will help you do the thing, go to our agency. Go to www.vantageagency.ca. Okay? <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next question. Next question. Next question. What is the cumulative requirement for master's program? Different schools have different requirements. Different schools want different CGPA. Irrespective of your grade, we work with you. Okay? Irrespective of your grade, we work with you. So don't let grades stop you. Whether you have a first class or you have a third class, that third class, or first class, or second class, or upper credit, lower credit, we will show you how to get the admission that is befitting for you. The best admission that is befitting for you. Okay. Let's look at more questions. Somebody said, can I do pre-masters in UK and still work? Well, maybe you've not heard me talk about this before. Never, ever, ever should you do pre-masters. I'm warning you. At the end, those who, those who skip the advice, they start crying four months or six months after they've arrived UK. When all their life savings is gone and they realize that pre-masters is not a degree program. Never, ever, ever, ever go do pre-masters. It is useless. The same person that can do pre-masters can do masters. So why do you want to do pre-masters? Even if you have the class, you can do masters. Why do you want to do pre-masters? If it is not lack of information don't let your savings go you can swallow it and push you out spit you out be careful never ever never, never ever do pre masters okay please i'm begging you eh, i'm begging you don't do pre masters okay let's look at more questions Um, this person is asking do Canada support immigrants with mentally challenged children such as Down syndrome very well there are even special schools for them here so you, if, you, if you are in another country battling with that and here like it has been destigmatized so people will not be like stigmatizing your kid whether it's Down syndrome or any other bad defects. And there are special schools to special education for them. And the resources to really have that child learn. Okay? It's possible for you. All right. Let's see. Okay, so this person said, graduated this year, yet to call to our statement of results and transcripts. Starts. Don't wait. My advice for you is start. One, if you start, you'll be able to see how others are going about it. Number two, if you start, you'll be able to see the consequence of waiting. It will make it easier for you to put pressure on your school. Three, start. Because if you wait, you are going to have to spend one, another one to two years at home. Start. That excuse you think you are giving now is an excuse. It's not a reason. Start. What we require from you to start our program is that you have dropped your 
undergraduate exam pen you drop the pen like this after you finish your exam you are you are eligible to start start because you you will move faster because when you are with us it's easier for you to ask questions ask for help we'll tell you oh do it this way your school is saying this do it this way oh i've i've helped people who did not have statement of result get admission before how illegally i'm not talking of illegal i'm not talking of creating fake papers god forbid that's not what i'm talking about legally you don't have statement of result you can still get admission there is a way to go about it there are other documents you can submit to the school there are other documents you can submit to the school but when you don't know what you are doing or you don't know how it works you don't have no you stay another one year at all. Stay another two years at all. Start. It is a promise. This will not be a problem if you listen to my advice right now. Start. All right. Okay. So let me end by saying that we have more information for you, especially once it comes to funding, getting scholarship, getting study loan, getting grants funding your education, getting very cheap tuition. Please, come. there are three steps I want you to take. There are three steps. The, listen very well because I'm going to ask you to repeat them. All right? The first step is for you to complete our free webinar at www.vantagemigration.ca. That's the first step. Now, now, the second step is that once you complete this webinar, you'll be giving us a link for you to go and check your eligibility. So you will check your eligibility. The third step is that you email us with any question or concerns that you have. And we'll take it up from there. We can always do a lot of back and forth to make sure that all the questions you have are clarified. Every help you need is provided to you. It's provided is within our limits. Uh, somebody say, is somebody from uh, Sierra Leone eligible? It, provided you can hear me and understand me, you are eligible. Whether you can hear me and understand me, you are eligible. Probably you can hear English, you are eligible. Whether you are from Sierra Leone, Liberia, Nigeria, Cameroon, Rwanda, Zambia, Zimbabwe, you know, whether you currently stay in South Korea, Jamaica, Egypt, wherever, provided you can hear me, that is the only limitation. Canada does not say that uh, you are from South Korea, you can't come to Canada. It does not work like that. You are from Jamaica, you can't come to Canada. You are from Liberia, you can't come to Canada. You are from Sierra Leone, you can't come to Canada. Everybody can come to Canada. The limitation is that we will be showing you what to do. We are English speakers. So if you don't understand English, it's going to be a problem. We can't communicate. That's why English is the only requirement. Whether you can speak and write and hear us and understand us in English, that's the only requirement. And it is out of our own weakness of not being able to speak other languages like French, like Spanish and all the rest. Okay? Don't forget. Go now. Complete the webinar. Check your eligibility. Send us an email. All right? So, send us an email. <music>